The start of divine engineering can be credited to Howard E. Devine. Born on November 5, 1895 in Sioux Rapids, Iowa, Howard relocated with his family to Colorado at the age of six, working on his father's peach ranch near Palisades, Colorado until the age of 18, he developed a love for tinkering with cars and dreamed of being an auto engineer. Howard served as a second lieutenant reserve military aviator in the Army Air Service during World War I, just missing overseas deployment. Howard then worked as an engineer and sales engineer at Link Belt Company in Chicago. In the mid-1930s, he left Link Belt to work in Des Moines as a chief engineer for electrical engineering and equipment company, where he spent 15 years. During World War II, Howard received a call from an engineer at Cargill in Fort Dodge requesting a bulk flow conveyor as he could not get one built by Link Belt because of the war. Howard agreed and after the conveyor was built and installed, the Cargill engineer called Howard and asked what he would name it. As a wisecrack, Howard said, I guess I'll call the things the ventilators, a wordplay on divine and elevator. The name stuck and is still one of the company's trademarks today. On May 1, 1952, Howard announced the opening of Divine Engineering Incorporated in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. This new company engineered and manufactured conveying, elevating, and special equipment as well as distributed industrial equipment. Divine Engineering operated out of a lease garage building at 315 7th Avenue Southeast. Howard Divine was president and secretary of the company, with Walter F. Heaton as vice president. In 1956, Divine Engineering purchased 15 acres of land just south of Cedar Rapids, near the junction of Highway 30 and 6th Street Southwest. The following year, they built a new manufacturing plant on the site. In 1958, Howard Divine bought out Walter Heaton's share of Divine Engineering to become the sole owner of the corporation. Initially, Howard hired engineering students from Iowa State University as temporary workers to meet his engineering design needs. After graduating from the University of Iowa College of Engineering in 1959, Jared Hills called on Howard about an employment opportunity just as Devine's temporary student workers were leaving for school. Jared was hired on as the first full-time engineering employee at Divine Engineering. In 1959, the company had a total of seven staff on the payroll. As Divine Engineering prospered, Howard looked to pass his legacy on. Howard and his wife Vi had no children and had grown close to Jared over the years, so they arranged for Jared to take over the company. After the death of Howard Divine in June of 1973, Jared succeeded him as owner of Divine Engineering and became president of the company. The company thrived and matured under the direction of Jared Hills. In 1973, Divine Engineering announced a 40-foot building expansion, which increased their facilities by 50%, creating room for their 10 full-time employees and numerous part-time workers. The company continued to grow, obtaining nearly $2 million in gross sales in 1982. By 1987, Divine Engineering employed 28 regular workers and had managed enough steady growth to warrant a 60-foot building expansion to consolidate production operations into one building. As large companies like ADM entered foreign markets, Divine Engineering went with them. In 1992, the company had gross sales of $7 million. As the world found more uses for grain and biofuels, the demand for industrial conveyors expanded. From 2015 to 2016, the company built 43 conveyors for a new AGP plant in Nebraska and 52 more for an AGP plant in South Dakota in 2018. As of 2019, the company employed 41 workers. For over six decades, Divine Engineering has serviced the grain processing industry internationally. Divine Engineering has products in over 30 countries outside of the United States, placing them on five continents. Starting with Howard Divine and continued in the leadership of Jared Hills, the company has grown to provide exceptional products while maintaining personal touches. The modern Divine Engineering is a three-generation, family-owned business including Jared, his children, and grandchildren.